Welcome to another example in IronCAD building a linkage using IronCAD standard features to build a slot and a cylinder feature um, based on some of these dimensions from a uh, Tutal Toby uh, model that was dated April 6. So again, this is really, uh, you know, there's no real overall dimensions on this. So you have to do some math here to calculate the overall and the width uh, of this, but everything else is pretty much dimensioned out. So we'll go ahead and move this off the screen and we'll use IronCAD. Again, we have a bunch of standard features and one of those is the slot feature that we can drag and drop out. And we can push on the pull on these handles or we can type in values for any of these. So we know the width of this uh, model is 0 0.875 times two, or we can just say 0 0.875 plus 0 0.875 to get the total width value. Length, we're gonna do the same thing, uh, which we can do here, uh, which is 3.25 plus um, that <coughs> value again, which is the 0 0.875 uh, twice. So we can just do 0. 875 plus 0.875 to get us our total length. So that's just a, a math calculation, but if you want to see the dimensions, you can put a dimension from the center to center to see that we do have that point, our 3.25 value there. Next, we can set our height, and which is set to one in this case. Uh, to do our cylinder extrude, we're just gonna drop a cylinder onto our center point, which is a pre precise position. We can pull on our handles and hold our shift key to reference the existing geometry. And then all we need to do is set our height, which in this case is 0.375 on that. So that gives us our basis for our shape. Next, we can use the cut slot to drag and drop out here and do the same thing in here. So we know the width of this guy is actually one on this. And we know the overall length on this guy is essentially 1.125 plus one to give us our total value. And now to position this, we can use our tribal to do that. So we can just move it in here just to get our geometry in, in a good position. We can now hit our space bar and hold our shift key and snap to the arc to get it into the center point. Once we hit the space bar again, we can do the same to the outer to position it exactly onto this curve. So we didn't have to use any offset geometry to build these slots or anything like that or constraints. So we just use our tribal to position it exactly in place and pull the handle down. And last, we need to add a cut here that we know has a diameter of one on that. And that's a through cut, so we can see both those are through cut there. And then last, we just need to add our blend on here, which is a value of point 0.2 and hit okay. So that is our model here. So we have this <coughs> in uh, inches here. So we need to put a, our density in as 1020 to set that. And that gives us a pound uh, value of point 0.222. So that's how you build this model in our CAD. Very simple. Uh, to build this again, we don't have to use any sketches to do this. Uh, a lot of times uh, people will uh, use this, uh, build this in the sketch where they do do a, a slot to another slot and constrain it up, put a cylinder there, then extrude two sketches. Uh, you can do that as well in ARCAD, but this is another way to think about it, uh, just building it with standard shapes. Hopefully everyone enjoyed.